Other than skin cancer, prostate cancer is the most common cancer in American men. This cancer is common, but not necessarily life-threatening. In fact, there are almost 3 million prostate cancer survivors in the United States today. Dr. Sri Gorty is a radiation oncology specialist at the Robert and Beverly Lewis Family Cancer Care Center, located on the campus of Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center. He discusses the prostate and prostate cancer. The prostate is a small walnut-shaped gland that uh, produces fluid that helps the sperm survive. The cancer comes from the actual glands uh, that uh, produce the fluid. There's a mutation in one of the cells um, and that cell starts to divide uh, more rapidly than any other cell in the, in the local area and it starts to take over. Dr. Gordy discusses how prostate cancer is diagnosed. Usually when we find it, patients come in because they had a a bad blood test or high blood test or they we felt something on the prostate. The PSA test is the way that most people find out that they have prostate cancer. The actual diagnosis comes when we take a piece of the tissue, we look, look at it under the microscope and we say, well, this is prostate cancer. Most of my patients, most of the ones I see, usually come in with very minimal to no symptoms. Uh, because, part of that is because as we get older, these are the symptoms that, we, that men experience anyways, waking up in the middle of the night more frequently, going more frequently during the day, um, urgency, uh, weak stream. Yes, those are symptoms of prostate cancer, but those are also symptoms of old age. The options for treatment range from just monitoring a slow-growing cancer to surgery. The treatment options for prostate cancer vary all the way from active surveillance to um, surgery to radiation treatments and different forms of radiation treatments. Some cancers of the prostate are not aggressive and those are the patients that I would recommend active surveillance to. Typically I tell a patient, you know what, these are your options. Whichever option you take is probably going to be the right option for you. And we don't look backwards after we've made that option or that decision options such as surgery. The surgeon would take the patient to the operating room and using robotic surgery cut out the prostate. The advantage of doing that is um, the side effects are less. You have less operating room time. You have less uh, hospital stay time. You have less blood loss. So there's a, there's a big advantage to some of the, uh, the current surgical techniques. We do th things like external beam radiation where we give, uh, we use inter intensity modulated radiation therapy with image guidance and we give uh, the treatments to sterilize the prostate. Um, we also do brachytherapy and what brachytherapy is is the placement of seeds or needles through the prostate to give radiation from the inside instead of from the outside. We also do up-and-coming therapy such as stereotactic body radiotherapy where instead of the standard protracted course we're giving it over five all of the radiation over five treatments and that's just the curative options now when we get into the when patients have metastatic disease metastatic disease means it's spread to the bones um, even when it spreads to the bones you can still live a very long period of time it doesn't mean that um, your time is limited. I have patients personally that have 10, 15 years that I've been treating them on and off with metastatic disease. When my patient does better, when my patient beats the odds, when my patient is there 10, 15 years later, it makes us feel good. It makes me and my team feel good because we made an impact in their lives.